What's up, COL? This your man, C. Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. Today, I will be talking to you about the narcissist will make you feel burnt out. You will get narcissist burnout. Narcissistic burnout. But the narcissist will make you feel burnt out. Um, let me give a shout out to the Wild Wild West family reunion that we had yesterday off the chain. Everybody was there. Uh, It was wonderful, stupendous. I want to give a shout out to uh, Michelle, one of Patty, Rachel, Bunchy, uh, you know what I'm saying, Uh, Emma, you know what I'm saying, Bobby, uh, Fly, a.k.a. Derek, uh, or Derek, a.k.a. Fly, Michael Duke, uh, you know what I'm saying, Terry, Kim, Sheena B, uh, Steve, uh, uh, Fooney, Mike, um, uh, just everybody who was there. Um, it was just wonderful, man. It was great, man. Craig, uh, everybody, me, me. It was, it was just great. It was wonderful. It was wonderful to see everybody, man. God bless all of you, all, all of our family. It was wonderful. You know what I'm saying? So that was really really needed really really wonderful uh the layout was good the vibe was excellent and we had a ball you know what i'm saying shout out to uh steven my uh mike and uh Fooney for uh hosting everybody after at their house you know what i'm saying but it was great um so let's get back to it the narcissist will make you feel burnout you know what i'm saying Okay, what is burnout? Burnout is when you don't or can't care, or both, you know what I'm saying? Uh, The narcissist has jerked you through the mud so much, man, they just wearing your spirit down, wearing your motivation down, you know what I'm saying? Your subconscious, everything is just taking an excessive amount of beating, you know what I'm saying? It's like driving your car and trying to do 80 every time the light turns green, just mashing it to the, you know what I'm saying? You're like overworking it, man, something about to give out, you know what I'm saying? Your body... Your mind and your spirit, subconscious, they all work the same. That's why if your HPA access is getting overworked and overwhelmed, other things will start to default, like your health, your mind state, your cognitive thinking, your subconscious, wear and tear your body. Mental health is everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Physical health is definitely very, very, very important. But the inner workings of anything is always the main focus, the inner workings of a computer, a car, you, you know what I'm saying, your phone, your house, your TV, the inner workings are what's on the inside, you know, and that's why we say we build from the inside out, you know what I'm saying, you can't build from the outside in, because then it's falsified, you know what I'm saying, you ain't solid, you don't know what's really going on, you don't know, you swimming on the shallow end of the pool, you know what I'm saying, as they would say, um, let me see, you will begin to learn to have learned helplessness learned helplessness is when you have getting got beat down every avenue that you have tried to go to rectify the situation with the narcissist and nothing gives because the narcissist is demonically being remote controlled by a demonic spirit an evil entity that wishes nothing the opposite of happiness for you uh, your hps your hpa access dysregulation will begin begin you will start to be depleted, you know what I'm saying, in many areas, man. Okay, number three, the next one is you will feel disenfranchised grief, you know what I'm saying? You will start to feel, you know, just low and down and out, you know, you won't be able to express it to anybody because you'll feel, you know, almost like it's your fault, you know what I'm saying? Some weird way that spirit works it out like that. Um, Number four will be um, extreme exhaustion. You will have extreme exhaustion. You won't feel like doing anything. You'll just be like stuck, froze, as if somebody has a straitjacket on you and you're in one of those padded rooms. It's crazy, man. But that spirit and that subconscious and that spiritual wear and tear, man, that inner workings, man, I'm telling you, that that narcissist does a number. Subconscious depression you will also begin to feel. It's very bad. You need to get some help right away and get away from that nerve. Okay, let's go. Uh, you will have 
unrelenting stress from the narcissist. You will feel your lack of control and the lack of boundaries. You will have unresolved trauma in the tsunami of life. You will feel overloaded in a lack of or no sense of time. You will feel unrewarded and feel a lack of support and feel un, unnurtured and you will have a dysfunctional dynamic about you and you will be dis, desensitized by the negative drama that the drama that the demonic narcissist brings. You will not know what to expect from the narcissist and you will feel unplugged from reality. This, my friends, is called burnout. People already struggle with emotions on a regular everyday life and then add a narcissist to the mix and your stress level just went up 75 to 80% easily. Um, you need to get clarity and get self-validation and get some happiness and joy. And you also need to gain, get um, to realign your HPA access. And with all the added, added stress, you won't have energy to care about things that you used to care about like self-care and how you look so drop the narcissist and pick up some positive energy uh self-forgiveness and coupled with resentment and guilt will be my next one y'all have a blessed one hit that like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one man peace